Hello students, today we are going to learn lesson 6 from your EVS textbook for standard 5. Rules are for everyone. So come along then, let's read and understand it. This is part 3. For a complete lesson, do watch part 1, 2 and 3. You'll get the link in the description box below. This video was made just for you. Do remember to like, share and subscribe. Protecting our environment Just as laws are necessary to maintain equality and justice in society, that is, we have made rules so that there is equality, equal rights and there is justice for all the people in the society. Laws are also required, that is, rules are also required for the protection of the environment. So, it is our duty as human beings to see that we are protecting the environment. And so, there have to be rules made for that purpose. And we are dependent on nature in many ways, isn't it? Nature is giving us so many things. We are dependent on nature. Without nature, we cannot do anything. So, most of our needs are fulfilled by nature. Everything nature gives us for our needs and natural resources should be available in enough quantities for the needs of the future generation also. So, that is what is natural resources? Natural resources means whatever things that we get from nature, nature gives us. So, we should see that we are taking care of it and it is available for future generation also. So, if we do not, we keep on cutting trees, cutting our forest. So, then what will our future generation? Future generation means those people who will be born in future. So, all the children that will be there in the near future. So, what will, how will they live? Okay, so we have to see that we are protecting and taking care of the environment. Therefore, we must conserve. Conserve means we have to take care, we have to protect these natural resources and we must use them carefully. So, we should take care of it and we should not just use it for our benefit. So, we should use only how much we require. At the same time, we should see that we are taking care of it, we are protecting it and we are not causing any harm to the environment. Our social issues. Issues means the problems that our society faces. So, these are some of the problems that are there. Illiteracy. Illiteracy means no education, lack of education to many, many people. Many, many people still cannot afford to go to school or send their children to school. So, therefore, the government or all the people should work hard so that everybody gets educated. Then we have superstition. There are some people who are not educated. They practice all this superstition. That is, they think that, you know, if they uh, put all these things uh, around their uh, house or uh, place of work or maybe to the vehicles or anything, so uh, there will not be any harm to them in what so, all this is superstition, that is, it is not correct, it is not scientifically true. And there is child marriage, so there in some societies, some people, they get the children get married, that is wrong, okay. Only when children grow up, they understand, they, uh, they, have, they know whom to get married to, why they are getting married. So, only then they should be allowed to get married, not when they have small children, as well as Child labor is also very wrong, okay? That is children working, working in homes, working in factories, working in construction sites, working anywhere, okay? In shops and uh, small, on the roadside or anywhere. They are not supposed to work at all. So, child labor is also should not be allowed. Do you know caste discrimination? That is the discrimination, that is difference showing which caste you belong to, high caste, low caste. Then gender inequality, that is whether you are a boy, whether you are a girl, whether you are man, woman, inequality. So, to show that you are a boy, you can't do this, you are a girl, you can't do this. And lack of education, that is not giving education for women were some of the big obstacles in our society. Okay, so caste discrimination, gender inequality and lack of education education for women were the big problems that our society faced at one time and there were many many people who worked to remove this and some of them were Mahatma Jyoti Rao Phule, uh, Rajashri Shanu Maharaj and Dr. Babasaheb Ambedkar tried to get rid of means remove this 
these obstacles that is these problems this injustice that is some of them that was caste indiscrimination gender inequality and no education for women Savitri Bai Phule that is she was a wife of Mahatma Jyoti Rao Phule Savitri Bai Phule had to fight a great battle for women's education so she was the first one to start a school for women okay so she had to fight to the people because people said no 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 you are doing something wrong how how can women be educated so she had to fight with them and her colleague colleague means somebody who was with her and she, that was Fatima Sheikh so she helped uh, Savitri Bai to start the school so she was Savitri Bai's first student provided her with valuable assistant in this fight so both of them they had to fight they had to fight with the society they had to fight with the people and they had to uh, allow other women to learn then there was Maharshi Dhondu Kesharao Karve also did great work to promote promote means to see that women get education so all these people have done great work for the people's women's education so they had to do a lot of struggle they had to fight with the people to get these things done now the work of all these social workers was instrumental was the cause was the reason in bringing about positive change in our society now let's revise what we have learnt in this lesson we learnt that rules made for people are changed from time to time so sometimes we have to change the rules as the society progresses as we move on from one generation to the other some rules become outdated that is they become irrelevant they are of no use so we have to change them rules in the golden days were in the form of religious traditions and social customs so in those days in the olden days there were certain rules which were followed because of religion and traditions and social customs and laws are made to combat inhuman and undesirable conditions combat means to fight to remove this inhuman and undesirable which is not required traditions and customs so all these laws are made so that we have working working for the people's good as well as working for the good of the environment we are protecting people's rights as well as people's uh, you know for the environment also do solve the exercise given to you at the end of the lesson and to check your answers, you can visit our website at www.jkacademypro.com. You'll get the link in the description box below. Do remember to like, share and subscribe.